In this video, we are going to look at general guidelines for spreadsheet layout. This is going to show us an example of a poorly constructed spreadsheet, and then we will look at an example of a well-constructed spreadsheet. In this particular spreadsheet, we see a very large header. We see data tables that are not formatted well. We see data that does not flow in a logical manner from top to bottom consistently, but tends to jump from left to right, and then to bottom, then to the right, then go in bottom. So the user cannot easily follow the calculation steps. This spreadsheet is not even given a title. And at this point, we see an embedded graph in the spreadsheet. Now, this graph has several issues. The graph doesn't have titles. And where it does have titles, they are poorly annotated. You can see that the axes are poorly scaled so that the graph actually occupies a very small portion of the entire chart area and there's a large blank area here. Now we're going to look at this exact spreadsheet but we're going to look at it well done. So here we can see that the title size is more reasonable and that the data tables are formatted with grid lines and also with consistent number formats. You can see that the data calculations, data and calculations flow in a logical manner down the spreadsheet consistently. You can also see that important results are in a different font color or in a different background color. One can also see that the user is prompted for data entry into cells that have blue text and cells that have black fonts, they contain formulas so the user knows not to enter those cells unnecessarily. The spreadsheet also has formulae that show what calculations are being done as well as a diagram that illustrates the content of the spreadsheet. You will notice that the sheet titles are well annotated and the graph is on a separate sheet. The graph itself would have titles for its axes, a legend, the axis titles would also have units of measure where necessary. The scale of the axes are such that the user can display all the data on the graph while maximizing the chart area. So in general, this spreadsheet would be considered a well laid out spreadsheet.